Hello everyone, welcome to Kukusala's lesson. Today, this is a video video of how to re record your iOS device's screen. The things you need are an iOS device that uses lightning, so it should have a lightning port, a lightning cable, and if a Mac that is running at OS X Yosemite or later. First off, connect your lightning uh, cable to your Mac. Then start QuickTime by going to into the launch pad, then going to other, and then uh, pressing on QuickTime. Then do file new movie recording. It's supposed to launch with your webcam, but you, you but you can change it to your iOS device. Right now it's on my iPad because I already set it. But to set it, you need to uh, go go into the drop down menu, and then you have to select uh, your iPad iOS device and the, your iOS device as audio, so, and then boost the audio to full so that you can hear it. Then, when you want to start recording, press the record button. It will show how many megabytes uh, uh, the uh, recording is taking and also how much time your recording is. Right now I am going to play Crossy Road as a, a demo for the recording. When you want to stop it, press the st stop button. It, it, it will go into the player and then you can play your video and you can uh, just overview it. Also, you can save your uh, file by going to file save and then you can actually uh, type, uh, you can type in a name for the file and you can put it in a destination. So right now I'm going to uh, name it as a, uh, I will name it like a random name and then it will just take a, what, a few seconds to encode and then you can even show, go into view, show movie inspector to see uh, how many, how much um, is, what is the frame rate and the resolution. Here is the example footage that I, I have taken. It is uh, as a, uh, about 60 FPS, and uh, also it is uh, that means it is pretty smooth. And also I'm gonna actually time lapse it in the middle to for it to not take up that much time. So uh, uh, this is a lag test. So as you can see, when I log into my iPad, uh, it, it will actually chop a bit, and also it will it's a little bit laggy. If you swipe left to right, it it, it takes a second to respond. But it, it, and now I'm gonna play a crossy road, and I will show you some. Uh, so actually, a little bit a tiny bit of lag while playing crossy road. It's not very noticeable, but if you're playing some extreme games that which. Uh, extreme games uh, that are ex uh, and the uh, there should be no lag. Um, you this is not a good option. You should use something something like a screen capture card. As you can see, I play Asphalt 8 Airborne right now, and and this actually is because of the power that Asphalt 8, 8 Airborne takes to play. Uh, it actually makes the frame rate half. It will the frame will become 30 FPS instead of 60 FPS. But, uh, and this is the Apple 8 Airborne, uh, my uh, gameplay is sped up four times. And I may say, yeah, you can watch my, the rest of my Uber gameplay uh, for the last of the video.
let's drive it into the conclusion of this video. So, uh, so this PC and iOS is good for uh, actually made it for beginners who want to record the iOS display for some people who are making tutorials. But it's actually it's not very laggy. It, I mean, it's very laggy for professionals. And also, the, uh, if you want to record voiceovers using uh, while recording uh, audio in game, you, you, you might want to use a phone called Audacity. So this is the lessons. Subscribe, like, share. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.